Metro was in good enough shape to bring back football tonight. Players got their chance to get on the field for the first time since last year. News 4's Ryan Breslin shows us the signs of normalcy it's bringing to Pearl Cone High School. From the stands of the Pearl Cone High School Stadium, it looked like a typical Friday night Firebirds game. But barely anyone was allowed in the stands to see it. It has taken a lot of hard work and dedication from our uh, the student athletes, uh, the coaches, uh, the, the parents. Principal Miriam Harrington says even with the no fans restrictions, the excitement has still been there. Like I could feel it Monday, even on the field. She says getting the season going has not only been important for the players physically, but because four of the 11 seniors have already committed to schools like Ohio State and Michigan. They are going into some high end state schools and we really want them to be seen and have that opportunity. Along with the players, cheerleaders and band members were allowed in for the game. We might not be big in numbers, but we are loud in short numbers <laughs> and they do they do get down and uh, that'll keep that right there keep the kids going. We know that it's basically our responsibility to be the hype uh, for our boys to get them to victory. The efforts happening at a time when high school students are still learning virtually in Metro but able to come together to play. This is what we can control and this is where we are. So let's just stay in this positive positive space. So I think that has, has helped. But it's also great just to see the numbers in Nashville come down, right? Ryan Breslin, News 4 Nashville. And dancing on the sidelines, always a good thing. Well, having no fans was not a widely popular decision. There's even a petition out there to get it changed. To prepare, cars blocked parking lot entrances at the school so no one could go in tonight. Police also monitored the outside fences of the stadium and turned people away who were trying to sneak inside.